Today's practice is going to be about sound and using sound as a tool for mindfulness in order to better attune with ourselves and our environment. My name is Angelica Malucci, and I am a social worker and fashion stylist. I combine my unique skill sets as a style coach, helping others explore identity and heal wounds related to body image and self-esteem. My new video series covers various topics relating to mental health, self-care, and coping with life's challenges. You don't need anything besides a comfortable place to sit for this exercise. And once you're ready, I'll walk us through. We will begin this exercise by thinking about first our breath and then our body and then tuning in to the sounds around us. As you do this, you might hear sounds that are annoying to you <laughs> and that's okay. We're going to try to get into this mindset of curiosity, no matter how frustrating the sounds in your environment may be. When I think about sound, I often think about animals such as bats or owls that pretty much rely on vibration and sound for survival because they don't have the ability to see as well. Our senses are a part of our nature. So we're going to begin, as I said, focusing on our breath. So once you're comfortable, you may close your eyes, keep them open. We are going to just notice the natural inhale and exhale that's already happening. So much like we are always breathing and we don't always notice, we're also always listening. We're always seeing. So right now we're just going to focus on the breathing that's just automatic. Your body breathes whether you think about it or not, which is pretty incredible. So as you're breathing, Notice where you feel the sensations of your breath. You might notice that you feel yourself breathing most at the tip of your nose. You might notice it in your belly or in your chest. Just gently placing the attention on where your breath is leading you to. And once you have noticed the sensations of your breath, we will think about our body. So moving from our breath to our body, what do you notice? You could just be like, well, I'm bored already. <laughs> and those feelings exist in your body. So notice those too. We're just gonna adjust our posture as we feel needed just tuning in to what our body automatically does. And then we'll start to move that same energy and attention we're placing on our body to our ears. We're noticing what sounds are coming in. What are the pitch of those sounds? What are the frequencies of those sounds? Are they reoccurring or just one sound and then silence? And what sounds happen in the silence? As we do this practice and you start to identify the sounds or noises in your environment, notice that your mind may create images or stories to go along with those sounds. And you can follow your mind there, follow your thoughts as it takes you there but we will hold this detached perspective of simply observing. And so once you have observed the sounds in your environment, start to notice if there's any sounds that are being created by your mind to fill that silence. So for me, when it's quiet like this, I'm really uncomfortable. I get really antsy. I'm like, all right, all right, it's quiet. So why do I feel this need to fill that silence? And can I sit with my own thoughts, my own being in a way 
that is simply observing. Once you have come to a place where you feel like you've listened, you've observed, you've gathered whatever insight came up for you, we're gonna bring our attention back to our ears. Those sounds, whatever they may be, we're placing them back in their environment, bringing my focus back into the room, back into my body, thinking about my posture again, and then back to my breath, getting back into that rhythmic breathing. Maybe I've stopped breathing because doing this made me feel really anxious because it was really quiet. That's something I'm noticing for myself. So we're just noticing again where that breath is happening. We're tuning into that. So once you feel like you are back in the present, maybe even wiggling your fingers, your toes, those physical sensations, you are back. <laughs> you have explored the sounds in your environment as well as attuned better with yourself. The more we do this, I, I say this in many of my videos, but the more that we do this, the easier it becomes. And also just giving yourself credit that much like breathing and listening and seeing, you are already doing the things you need to do to attune better with yourself. You already have these skills. You already have these abilities. You got this. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for tuning in and for taking this time for yourself.